you gotta switch to. Yeah, I'm not sure if I wanna save it. I might wanna save it here actually, because it would be annoying not to fight my way back through all of that if I died. Shouldn't be a whole lot farther. As we're actually going to a uh, a dwarven mining camp. That's basically the next like kind of town area where you can buy stuff and get and get like kind of quests. This is probably one of my least favorite parts of this game, just because it's so drawn out. And you don't really have any like kind of side objective here, it's just get through this horde of enemies. There's another one of these big guys. I guess they're like an ogre or something. I don't have the energy. Ah. I think you hit one of his own guys. Or an ally. Ah, seriously. Of course he's stuck in there, so I can't draw him out. It's fantastic. I'm not even sure I'm hitting him. I got him, yeah. Okay. Battle axe. I kind of try to avoid uh, two-handed weapons in this game. Uh, Mainly a preference. I, mean, I, I I don't know that there's any huge advantage to a uh, having a shield. I mean, I mean obviously it's a defense advantage, but I don't know. I, I, I would say it's just preference. So I think I want these gloves actually. Yeah. My shield is already better. Uh, yeah, it's. Let's look at all of his stuff. What am I doing for potions? Well, it doesn't really matter if. Cause I, don't, I don't really have the option of getting any more potions currently. And since enemies don't respawn, I, I can't grind for them. <laughs> or, a f I guess, farm for them would be the, the right term. Mm. Yeah, it's not like it's not like a Metroid or something where you can just kill like random enemies to replenish your weapons or health. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm getting really low on potions. <laughs> this is getting a little desperate. I really hope I'm almost there. <laughs> Can't keep this up too much longer. Crap. I wonder if that helps. I guess it does. <laughs> I never really bothered much with blocking. I mean, unless I'm being shot out with arrows or something, I generally don't bother with a shield. Apparently it does help though, so... Uh, at least it's still better. Uh, it drains a lot of mana though. As useful as I keep insisting it is. But what did I do with the map? Crap. I'll do that again. Okay. 
Oh, we should almost be done, actually. Ugh. Maybe I spoke too soon. I guess they are ogres. I don't, I don't know what else to call them. I don't think the game ever tells you what they are. Ring doesn't do anything. A potion. Why am I still finding, like, rings that don't do anything? <laughs> wow, <laughs> two rings and an amulet, no less. Well, I actually still haven't died except for that uh, that one bit with the uh, jumping across platforms. I guess I died twice on that actually. Oh, the once was because the uh, the uh, capture program kept lagging on me, so I didn't re re realize what was happening until it was too late. Oh, right, here we are. This is the dwarven mining camp. I'm glad that section is over. I wasn't. I was not looking forward to that. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, I guess. But. I don't know. The, the, the mountain pass, is, I'm sure, isn't as bad as the gauntlet and the uh, thieves guild. But yeah, I, I still, still, I still hate the uh, mountain pass a lot more for some reason. I don't know. It's just so tedious. As this is a shopkeeper. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this. Um, I think there's one guy we have to talk to about quests, or like a like a central quest. And of course, there are other uh, NPCs you can talk to about. Um, like they'll have their own little stories and things that you can do for them. Let's see, some sell more stuff. Sell this. Sell them all of this. Sell the axe and the sword. Let's see what I can buy for him. That's not bad. Uh, that's actually not bad at all either. Nice. Masterwork Morningstar of Disruption. I might actually get that. That's pretty interesting. How can I help you? Or the scimitar. Uh, yeah, looking for anything in particular. I do like that weapon actually, but mainly because it has a more narrow range of damage. Well, I guess that gives you disruption, but that's only if you land a critical hit. Like otherwise, you don't get that effect. And it's a it's an eight point difference in potential damage, whereas this is six. I think I want this instead, actually. Uh, these wouldn't be bad, but, well, these are way more, way more expensive, and they're all two-handed, which I don't prefer, so I think I will get that. I'll probably have to sell this morning star. yeah. Yeah, that, that, that sword does so much more damage than this. Um, I don't think we'll be running into any more undead enemies here, at least. Uh, maybe possibly in Act Three it'll be undead, but not here. So I'll sell this now and buy that scimitar because that is a very sexy weapon. I don't have enough gold. Okay, so I need three hundred more, roughly. Don't have. Hmm. 
I have to sell one of these. Yeah, I'll just sell a ring. Uh, you'll hang on to those. And I'm pretty much going to be broke after this, but it should be worth it. There we go. So, that's done. We have a nice sword. Now we just need to save up for some armor. That doesn't suck and look ridiculous. Okay. Let's see, who do we talk to about quests? Here he is. Who are you? Tell me what you've been doing here, or my hammer will be the one asking next. I am from Baldur's Gate. I came here to investigate disturbances in the region. Hmm. You don't have the look of the Dark Elves about you. My name be Torgir. Torgir of Brungor's clan. You've come at an ill time, traveler. What happened here? This camp is all that remains of our clan. We were forced to fall back when a patrol of Dark Elves invaded our mines. Scores of us fell beneath their poison blades, and they knew when and how to strike us. We were forced to collapse all exit tunnels, save one, and regroup here on the surface. Now only a handful of us remain. Turn back from here, traveler. The mines are closed and there's nothing for you here. I came here to seek the source of the troubles that have been plaguing Baldur's Gate recently. Perhaps these troubles and the attack on of these Dark Elves is linked. I won't ask for your help, Traveler. But if you could help us drive those Shadow Croak demons back into the depths, uh, we'd welcome the extra blade. I'll help you. How do I enter the mines? Getting back into the mines? is the second of our troubles. Our leader, Colgrim, took the key for the mine entrance with him when he and three of our clan went to climb Burning Eye, that peak in the distance. Why did they leave the camp? They seek to light the signal fire atop Burning Eye and summon our brothers from Easting. Trouble is, it's been near a day and a half, and I've seen no signal fire from the top of the peak. I fear they may have been ambushed on the way there. Without the signal fire, we can expect no aid from the nearby towns. And without the key, we cannot even re-enter the mines to try and take it back from the drow. Can the door to the mines be forced? The gate to the mines was sealed with our key of Dumathon. No ordinary key. Merely touching it to our gate causes the cracks and spaces of the gate to become solid stone. Not even a battering ram could break the gate now. It keeps us from entering. But at least it keeps the drow trapped in the mines. For now. I will go in search of Colgrim and his band and see if I can persuade him to let me use the key to enter the mines. I wish you luck. And may Klongadid's twin axes bury themselves in your enemies. Farewell, Torgir. Okay, so he mentioned the Drow. Uh, they're basically a... I guess a subterranean race of Dark Elves. I, I don't really know anything about them beyond that. Uh, but yeah, that's our goal. We have to get this key from Torgir. Um, but first we have to go up into the mountains to find him. But that'll have to wait till next time. <laughs> so it should start getting pretty interesting now. Um, things will start picking up. We'll start getting nicer equipment, hopefully. We'll start seeing some new enemies, uh, meeting new people. But yeah, um, thanks for listening. If you listened, uh, I'll be back with more. This has been Edwardovich, signing off.